Okay, we are going to make some palladium on carbon. In order to do that, you first need a source of uh, carbon. I like that. Okay, and uh, you can pretty much use any source of carbon as long as they are pure enough. I have this uh, activated carbon, but in order to, sh uh, to ensure that it is pure enough, I'm going to weigh about 10 grams of it and uh, let it uh, stir in uh, nitric acid uh, for around for about an hour or two. Then I will dry it at. Uh, then I will dry it by heating it, and then I can use it as the source of the carbon. So let's. Okay, that should be enough. Let's do a little bit of it. Just be careful and don't breathe this stuff. You can harm your lungs. And just put it on a steering. And throw a stir bar in there. And just put it right there. Okay. Now we'll wait. We will wait for about one hour, two hour. Doesn't matter. Just wait more than one hour, I think. Okay. It has been a few hours. Since we added the charcoal to the uh, sulfuric to the nitric acid solution, so now we can just go ahead and uh, filter it.
there is nothing really to see it is just a simple filtration so I may go ahead and just pause the video after it's done we will return okay the filtration is done now we can put the carbon in the oven at 100 to 120 C for about one hour so it will so it can be dried and after that we can proceed to uh, the rest of the experiment and uh, load the palladium on the carbon Okay, we are going to prepare uh, some palladium, some palladium on carbon, five percent. In order to prepare ten grams of the palladium on the carbon, you need to weigh out about nine point three grams of uh, acid washed carbon. You can wash any source of carbon with uh, ten percent nitric acid. Then you need some palladium chloride, around 820 milligrams of it. You need concentrated hydrochloric acid in order to dissolve palladium uh, chloride. You need formaldehyde, 37% in order to reduce palladium. And you need uh, double distilled water or deionized water, whichever you are you can access uh, is going to work just nice. Uh, first, you need to uh, boil. You need to heat water to around 80, uh, 80 C, and then you can add the palladium chloride to it and do the rest of it so first we are going to uh, heat some water okay i dissolve palladium chloride in water and concentrated hcl it was a pain to get this to dissolve but it eventually dissolves if you heat it and I added around 150 milliliters of water to the carbon. Now I will leave them to get to around 80 C. And when they do, we just go ahead and add the palladium chloride uh, to the carbon source. Okay. Okay. The temperature is around 78 and it is pretty much constant and it is just enough for our purposes so I'm going to add the palladium chloride solution uh, to the carbon and let it stir for about 2 hours. But first, I am I'm going ahead and uh, crank the stirring a little bit up, and then we can go ahead and add the palladium to the carb.
I'm just rinsing the rest of it with this thing. let it rest here for two hours but as you saw the palladium chloride solution is kind of um, brown reddish color but when you add it to the carbon if you let the carbon settle down the upper layer should not uh, should not have any color if it just absorb all all of the palladium chloride so you can wait for two hours but if you can just to go ahead faster you just can remove the beaker from the steering and wait a little bit to for carbon to settle down if the upper layer does not have any color so you can proceed to the next step which is adding the formaldehyde as the reducing agent so we just wait for two hours and then we move to the next step okay for the next step we are going to add uh, formaldehyde about one milliliter drop by drop to the uh, solution and then we are going to make it alkaline by adding 30% uh, of sodium hydroxide solution so let's add the formaldehyde first After that, you are going to add sodium hydroxide. just needs to be a slight alkaline around pH 8 or 9 will be quite sufficient now let's check it is not there using this paper uh, these pH papers to measure the uh, pH of the solution is not that all right because the carbon will cover the surface of the paper so I decided to let it just a little bit settle down then use the paper
as you see it is quite acidic so we will continue adding the uh, the 30% solution of the NaOH Now we measure it again. As you, it is just not there yet it is highly acidic so we add more Let's check it again and see if we are at the desired pH. As you see, we are acidic. So we are going to add just more okay. let's check it again So it is just okay, let's check it. It is around maybe seven. So we can add a little bit more, just a little bit, not too much. Don't add too much, otherwise you I have to reverse the whole process again. Just a little bit, not that much. Here to settle down a little bit and then tear it again. The reason that I'm using this bar is that the carbon 
he likes to stick to these pH papers and you can't see anything but it. But you can just dip this ball slightly on the surface and put it right here. As you can see, the color does not like to change. So we are around neutral pH 7. Okay, so you need to put it right here. Stir it and add it a little bit more. It just should be only a, a slightly alkaline. So I'm going to add if you just stir and just do this thing. Okay. I will add a little bit more. Just a few drops, not much. Okay. Now I will check it again. Okay, I eventually got the pH right. It is kind of, uh, if you look in there, it is very clear uh, solution on top. And the palladium on carbon is precipitated uh, on the bottom section. So uh, we are going to uh, filter this and rinse it through liquid water as much as uh, we can. As you see, the solution is completely clear. So, in order to in order to get a clean uh, carbon palladium on carbon, uh, we should wash it around ten times with distilled water. So here we go. The carbon that I'm using is very fine, so a little bit of carbon made it through the filter paper, but that is not that is no problem.
after it, uh, the filtration is done, the carbon on the, the palladium on the carbon uh, should be dry in the room temperature. Uh, you can heat it uh, because if you heat it, it may ignite. Uh, so just dry it under the uh, room temperature, or you can dry it uh, in a dissipator or under the vacuum but at no condition dry it uh, by heating it Okay, it has been okay. I filtered it and I uh, put the carbon on the vacuum so it can uh, be relatively dry. Uh, and now I just, I just remove remove it from the vacuum and uh, and put it to dry at the room temperature. Then we can store it. So here you go. Preparation of the five percent palladium on activated carbon. Okay, I removed it from the funnel and put it uh, in this plate so it can be dry at the room temperature. I repeat it once again, please don't dry this stuff uh, by heating it, it may ignite very easily. If you just leave it a few hours or maybe a day at the room temperature, it will dry. Then you can just put it in a, put it on your vacuum and dry it all the way. Thank you. okay after a few days at the room temperature our cotton is always completely dry so i'm going i'm going to transfer it to this container but first we have to trace this container Let's remove the filter paper. I will sc uh, scrape this filter paper later, but right now I want to transfer this into the container as fast as possible.
it is around 12 grams so it definitely holds a little bit of moisture I will keep this in the in, in a desiccator to dry it further so there you have it palladium on carbon